Today, we'll be discussing the process of handling false positives in Tenable SE. Within Tenable SE analysis, there is the ability to accept risk and recast risk. This functionality is reserved to those who have access based on the built-in role-based access within Tenable SE. Depending on the view you are in, when clicking the setting cog to the right of the vulnerability that you believe is a false positive, you have the ability to accept risk directly from that view. When accepting a risk within the vulnerability summary view, you will make a comment to indicate why you're accepting the risk. You can have it set to expire so it does reappear after a certain date. Then you have to define the repository in which the accepted risk will apply to. Because I am accepting the risk based upon the vulnerability summary view, the default is to be accepting the risk for all devices on any port. Now, if I were to accept the risk directly in the vulnerability view, so I'm gonna to jump to my vulnerability detail list. If I am accepting the risk directly within the detail view, it will be for a individual system. So the accept risk button will be available in the detail view, and you'll see the parameters will change and the target will default to the individual IP. The accept risk feature is available to accept for all systems, for an IP address, an asset, or the agent UUID. Now, if you do believe this is a false positive and you are determining why if this vulnerability is triggering in your environment, always double check the plugin output to see what our scanner or agent is using to validate that vulnerability exists. Always verify, and if this is truly a false positive, make sure to contact our support team with validation and proof to indicate that this is in fact a false positive. Otherwise, the accept risk feature is something that you can use to hide the vulnerability within your analysis view, your dashboards, and reports. Now, if I were to accept the risk for this specific system, I'll indicate false positive, I'll select it for my vulnerability data for this host, and I'll hit submit you'll be able to see all your accepted risk and recast risk under the workflow tab. Selecting accept risk, you're now able to see the accepted risk for that one specific vulnerability for this individual system. You do have the ability to view or delete the accepted risk rules at any time. Jumping back to my analysis, there's also the ability to recast risk. Now, this is not going to be removing the vulnerability from your analysis view. This will simply allow you to change the severity. So maybe you do want to have visibility and still be able to see this specific vulnerability, but you want to change it to an informational, you are welcome to do so. And again, this will apply based upon what view you are in. So if you're under the detailed list view, this will be recasting the risk for the individual system. Jumping back to my vulnerability summary, and I were, if I were to recast risk, this will be default all devices. This is a quick overview of how to handle false positives within Tenable SE with their accept risk and recast risk functionality.